And if you're looking at this number, you probably think it's insane. How could one person make so much money for just typing on a keyboard from anywhere in the world? How could they make so much money for just writing some code? In this video, by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly why companies are willing to pay this much money for one single engineer and how you can get a slice of that pie. Now look, let's take a step back here and understand one simple thing about business, okay? If a business is willing to pay this much money for a single person, that means that this person is generating them some multiple, call it two, three, four, whatever, on this income to make it worth it for the business, right? If the business was losing money on this person, they're not going to keep them around, right? Unless they're absolutely crucial, all right? So you got to understand as an engineer, if you're trying to break into this industry and heck, I mean, if you are doing this for any other industry, this is how you make yourself more valuable. This is how you get more salary. You have to make yourself profitable profitable to the business, right? And so that is the first point of why they're able, these companies are able to pay their engineers so much is that one engineer can make the company millions of dollars. And I'll give you an example from a personal story, actually. Let's say a website or a business generates, let's say they, they generate $100 million a year. As an engineer, you're able to find out a way to make 2% more customers buy on the website, right? So the business is making $100 million a year, right? So let's call it a hundred million and you find a way to improve the business by two million dollars a year by improving the conversion rate or something else by two million dollars a year doesn't it make sense why a company would pay you this much i mean if they're paying you 500k and they get two million in return it's only logical that they would want to keep you around that they would more of you right solving these problems making them more money and that's just one example obviously these are basic numbers and only certain companies will pay that much i mean the principle applies everywhere if you can solve big problems that are worth a lot of money to people they are willing to pay you to solve those problems, right? And that brings me to our next point in that good talent that actually makes these type of things happen, that generates the business a profit and multiple on what they're paying them. These type of people are very rare, right? And if you're learning to code, if you're learning how to break into this industry, right? What you're going to find is like, yeah, these engineers, good, competent engineers are actually pretty rare. And so every company's worst fear is to make a bad hire, right? Because a bad hire negatively affects them in many ways. Companies spend so much money recruiting, I don't know, we'll call it 10, 20, 30, 50K, this is what it's gonna cost them monetarily just for one bad hire, right? Because they not only spend the recruiting fees to hire them, then they pay them some salary, and then you got HR, then you got legal fees, and by the time it's all done, you've wasted a lot of money. That's not even accounting for the bad code, slowing down other teammates, other issues that they caused while they were there. So to kind of recap, these companies are willing to pay more. They're willing to pay more to avoid making bad hires, right? If you stand out, if you are exceptional, they're willing to go above and beyond to lock you down, okay? They don't want this to happen. And the fact of the matter is, the supply and demand curve makes it such that great talent is overcompensated for what they're capable of, okay? And it's because these companies don't want this to happen. They don't want these bad hires. And the third and final point I guess I will bring up here is that one engineer, not only can they have a singular monetary impact, but one engineer makes the whole team better if they're great, right? If you're a senior engineer, you can all of a sudden, you can train juniors. You can make the other seniors around you better. You can teach them how to view the business from a business perspective, from a money perspective, and not just the code you're writing, right? So as a better engineer, you make a better team. And what does a better team actually do? Well, it cuts the cost of developing software for the company, cuts the cost of solving problems, and thereby makes the company more money. So if you learn anything from this video, you need to understand that hiring engineers, that these salaries that you see, there are strictly business decisions. And while you think you may be getting the leg up as an employee, as an engineer, the reality is these companies are making money on you, right? If you're an employer, they're making money on you. And so it's in your best interest to make yourself as valuable from a business perspective, such that, you know, these companies, they would smile to pay you this much because they know how good you are. They know what kind of damage or, you know, damage in a good way here you can do to their business, okay? And so that's exactly why 
uh, these companies can pay engineers $484,163 a year, and it's not rocket science. And so that's why these companies are willing to pay so much. And so if you want to learn how you can actually get a piece of this pie and start earning six figures from home, six figures in the tech industry, I've included a link down below. Go ahead and click that link. There's a free training for you where you can learn exactly how I did it and how you can do it too. All right. So I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and click that link below if you're interested. And I I will see you on the other side.